Well, hello, everybody. It's your boy, Avery, and welcome to some EDO Pro gameplay. And if you hear any rain in the background, I apologize. It's raining in my neck of the woods. And uh, I haven't done a Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast episode in a while, and I just wanted to take time to just sort of sit back, relax, and just talk about life, the universe, things that are interesting to me. And, you know, quite honestly, man, t- today was a rough day. Today was a, a very rough day. You know, n- not even the fact that I'm just bored of this format playtesting Sprite over and over and over again, which is probably the gameplay that you're going to be seeing here in the video is just some, you know, random replay moments. Um, but just the fact that, like, ah, man, today I had a job interview lined up. I had an interview lined up because, for those of you who don't know, I am on medical leave from my full time job, and I don't know if they're going to bring me back because of a buyout going on and shit like that. So I'm trying to make a backup plan. Well, of course, somehow, some way, something just always seems to go wrong. And the the wrong phone number got called. The, the recruiter for this company called the wrong phone number because apparently the phone number listed on my fucking application was the wrong goddamn number. I, I don't even know how that happens other than it's just my dog water luck. But... It it is what it is, man. I mean, it's just it's one of those things that's just it's been eating at me all day, and you know that's something I've really tried to work on with myself is to just not let things get to me so much. I mean, it's it's been really interesting being on medical leave for what is almost a year now and working in the television news world. The television the television world in general can be really stressful. And uh, to go from the environment that I was in, not that it was necessarily all bad. I mean, you know, some days were better than others. But then to be out of that environment and be able to focus on myself and my cancer and my health and everything else in my personal life um, has helped me mentally and physically um, being able to get back in a good mindset and you know, this is just one of those challenges that, you know, I just got to learn to deal with and take it on the chin and move on. And um, I, I don't know what it is. It's just it's very difficult for me to do that. I'm also not a patient person. So now that the fact that this got rescheduled from Monday and now I got to slog through my days off, which is today when I'm recording this Friday, Saturday and Sunday before I go work my part time job on Monday. And then I get to do a phone interview on Monday and then also go to my part time job on Monday. And it's just like, I don't want to be dealing with all that shit in one day. It's like, it's, it's stressful. It, it makes me anxious during like all my days off and shit. And it's just like, man, this is some baby bag bullshit. (laughs) Um, other than that, I mean, (laughs) the, the channel's been blowing up because of, uh, that email I got that I don't know if it's a troll or not. I don't know. I've, uh, I'm surprised at how much the video has blown up. Um, that's actually something else I wanted to talk about in this video is that I have received multiple threats against uh, myself and my family, uh, which for for a video about the ban list to blow up and get you know over a thousand fucking views, like it's sitting at fourteen hundred views uh, last I checked today. And, like, I've had people threatening me and, like, threatening to sue me, threatening to dox me, threatening to uh, stalk me on social media. Um, It's it's really, really weird that people would go to these lengths just because I post a video about the ban list and a potential Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! employee emailing me the ban list. Um... (laughs) Needless to say, a lot of accounts got reported. <laughs> um, so I, I, I really don't know what's up with that. That must be the uh, the trolls, the very few trolls that are in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community that definitely don't outweigh the positive people in the community. I mean, I, I've received a lot of love on my other videos because of the uh, influx of traffic um, to the channel because of that video. Um, but... You know, if, if you're someone who just wants to troll or something and joke around, like, there's a way of going about it without threatening someone's life. You know what I mean? Like, if if you're going to come on my channel and make a comment on a video and you're going to say something like, I hope you die of your cancer, like, you're going to get reported for that. You're going to get blocked for that. 
But like, if you make a joke, like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave a comment in your next video that your opinions on Yu-Gi-Oh are booty, booty, butt cheek. If this turns out not to be true, like that's just a joke, bro. Like I, I get that, but threatening someone and doxing someone, someone even made a comment that I replied to their comment and then blocked them and deleted their comment so that whenever they would see their notification, they could actually at least read the comment that I replied to them with. And that was the fact that like, I told one person, I'm like, bro, I've already been robbed once. I I told you all on the channel that I got robbed at the last regional I went to. Rather, well, I shouldn't say that. That's that's a little white lie. My car got broken into, but as far as I can tell, nothing got robbed. So I technically didn't get robbed. However, my car did get broken into. Um, and I've been really paranoid ever since. So if you're going to come onto my channel and, and make threats to me, I'm going to handle that as seriously as I possibly can because for all I know, you could be the person that broke into my car. You could be the person that drove up to my house randomly one night and you know they didn't have their license plate lights on so I, it was hard to read what their license plate tag was. Um, that's why I made that video of, you know, don't come to my home. And uh, it, it just really shocks me that people don't have anything better to do than troll somebody with less than a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I, I, I don't think I'll un ever understand the human condition that uh, someone feels that they have such a hard on for me. <laughs> like, no, like no, no sexual uh, tendency entailed, I guess, with that. Like, they just, they hate me so much and they don't even know me. And they're just going to threaten my life. They're going to threaten my family, my friends. They're going to threaten to dox me. I mean, it. I, I could count on both of my hands and my feet how many threats I have received over that Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list I got emailed from a Yu-Gi-Oh! employee video. Like, I, I, I didn't receive any of this kind of hate with my Master Duel video. Like, I received some hate like, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. But I don't really consider that hate. That's just more someone not agreeing with my opinion, but to actually go out of their way to say like, I'm going to dox your family. I'm going to stalk you on Facebook, on social media, which I don't know why, <laughs> why would you go after me on Facebook? But whatever, <laughs> I, I don't get that. That that really doesn't make any sense. That tells me that it's, it's a troll. At the same time, I'm going to take it extremely seriously and get the authorities involved if I have to. Um, but it just, it comes back to, I'll never understand the human condition as to why someone feels that they need to do that. Um, it, it, like, I'm, I'm a dude on the internet. Like, I, I'm, I'm here to entertain. I'm here to live my life with what I've been given as I'm trying to, you know, clear my head of the baby back bullshit I had to deal with today between hate comments and, which, really, that's just easy. I just got to block the fucker. Um, but more so dealing with a recruiter who called the wrong fucking phone number when we were setting up for a goddamn phone interview. And then of course now we got to reschedule for fucking Monday and it's like, Jesus Christ. I don't know. It's just one of those things that really just frustrated me and really pissed on my day today. And like YouTube has been an escape for me for a while, especially being on medical leave, having more time to make content, having more time to build up a persona and to, you know, make jokes like with an ultra ball and an ultra banana, as I call it the ultra banana, it's not actually an ultra banana, it's just a big ass banana that I got as like a fucking souvenir for like winning a, a, a bottle carnival game, whatever. Um, but that's why I like to do these podcast episodes too, is like it's, it's a rest from the persona, it's a rest from the entertainer that I try to be for you. Um, and hopefully, too, I'm, I'm that person that posts to YouTube that makes videos and makes content and makes you laugh and makes you forget about the stuff that you're going through for at least a couple minutes of your day. I mean, that's that's all I've ever wanted to do, even making videos for 10 plus years on YouTube off and on, you know, taking breaks months at a time, years at a time and not really caring about what I upload or what I do. Um, you know, it's. It's one of those things, I guess. And now I really feel like I, I want to take it seriously and build up a community and build up a positive environment. Like, yeah, we, we do negative things like shit on Master Duel and things. But one, that's more for entertainment. And two, it's because I genuinely just don't like the game. I think it's a really bad game. 
I think that there are much better Yu-Gi-Oh games out there that you could sink your teeth into and have much more better time with and actually worth your while. Um, but yeah, I just, I think other than that, the cancer treatment's going good. Um, life is, life is, I suppose, good. I just, I want to be back in television news. I'm, I'm really tired of being on medical leave. I'm tired of not doing what I want to do and being at a part-time job that I really don't have any care to be at. It's actually the part-time job that I worked before I went into television news, like when I was growing up and going to college and things like that. Uh, I'm not going to say what that job is, you know, because I don't need people stalking my my job. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to uh, I want to get back to working that Monday to Friday full time with benefits. Plus two, if for those of you who don't live in the U.S., once you turn 26 in the United States, at the end of your birth month, you're off your parents' insurance. Well, I turned 26 October 4th, so I've got till the end of October to find a full-time job with insurance, benefits, 401k, all that stuff, because my my cancer bills are, those things are expensive, and having insurance helps a lot. I don't really think I've paid much out of pocket, maybe 50 bucks for one appointment, and that was it. So, life is good. Just the bumps in the road make things really difficult, and I think that the more I can focus on building a positive community, the more that I can focus on myself, which is why sometimes I don't upload for a day or two. Usually I try to upload once a day, but sometimes I'll skip a day just to focus on my mental and my physical health and, and just focus on my life and things that I need to get done. Um, but that's why I also like doing these podcast episodes. It's just sort of a release. It's a, ah, I can chill. I can relax. I can just talk things through kind of like a diary but instead of writing which i hate to fucking do which is funny because there's a lot of writing in television news i can just speak what i'm thinking and what's on my mind so guys i know that this probably won't get a lot of views the podcast episodes tend not to get a lot of views but maybe this one will get a lot of views please let me know if you enjoy these type of podcast episodes let me know if uh there's a topic you want me to cover and just thank you so much for all the support We're at almost 900 subs, and I never thought I'd get this far. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.